but cast march for death and everything goes kaboom first way to make sniping great again active curse and that's like three shots everything got melted right there so yeah one of the more powerful ways to make sniping great guys shoot and the lenka has shot and it's like going through them for some reason <laughs> it's a mosh pit <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, there was some really weird interaction there that was kind of stopping it from working properly. Let's do it again. Okay, that's more like what we want to see. Okay, that's three, four combo. All dead. Double fire blast. And... You get a lot of combo really fast with the Comorex. Oh look, we deleted the group. Nice. So yeah, do a combo like that. Or use Terrify, especially if you're using Azarin. GG. In case you don't know why this would be any good, there's a fight called Eidolon, and it has three phases, um, Terralist, Gantalist, and Hydralist, and basically Volt is kind of the meta damage dealer there. You don't have to take Rubico, but it's kind of considered one of the best weapons for it. Zenith, if you have it, you're probably not watching this video. One of my favorites of this whole list is definitely Equinox, and you will see why in just a moment. Equinox is slightly complex, but you want to go into her day form, and then activate Maim. And Maim procs a slash on all enemies, and then there are bits you see, giving you time to cast Terrify, and damage vulnerability if you want. Land a headshot or two and use maim. Kaboom, everything's dead. Has really nice range. Let's just see that one more time because it was pretty insanely fast. Sleep, terrify, maim, headshot, headshot, and cast maim. Everything's annihilated. Hey guys, let's make sniping great again. Here's three to five ways depending on which frames and abilities you have access to. So let's start off with March for Death. March for Death is similar to Kalervo's ability Collective Curse, which redirects damage and causes, in this case, an explosion from the target that you hit. If you're hitting really, really hard with a sniper rifle, that's one way to make sniping great again. Let's have a very brief look at the damage on this Vectis. On top of the damage being cold and radiation based, we have Sharpshooter, which grants us a lot of energy every time we get a headshot. We almost have 100% crit with multi-shot that's basically guaranteed headshots and you do want to put primary deadhead on your sniper. So let's see it in action with Frost. We are also armor stripping, that's why I've chosen Frost to combo with Mark for Death, because they're CC'd, completely unarmored, and with Frost's augment, Biting Frost, we're doing 200% more crit chance, 200% more crit damage. So, pretty sweet combo. Last but not least, the Focus School Madurai gives us much faster casting. Let's see it in action. Cast a little snow globe and give ourselves. I won't Void Strike because that would just be overpowered and nasty, but. Cast Marked for Death. And everything goes kaboom! First way to make sniping great again, you witnessed it. In case that was too fast for you, let's see it again. Avalanche, marked for death, marked for death. Okay, for some reason they're all on really low health, but not dead. Chuck in a hammer, GG, GG. That's uh, Exodia Contagion with a Zor. So let's move on to our next way to make sniping great again. For my next trick, we have mag. Now, technically this isn't a sniper rifle, but it has infinite punch through and it's kind of like a sniper rifle, but this is a sniper rifle. Kind of underplayed. Let me just show you the builds real quick. You can basically ignore 
any ribbons I have and just replace them with something similar. Um, primary frostbite is on here, but you can put primary deadhead on. I put, if you want to snipe with other frames, I put primary frostbite on because you don't need headshots. And it's a bit weaker than the last build I showed you, but it's still supremely fun. What you do is you magnetize uh, a group, you strip their armor, again, you strip their armor, and this also kind of doubles, you'll see it in action in a moment. Yeah, here's the mag build as well. If you don't have Energize, then use Xenuric, that's totally fine. Fracturing Crush, very important to get the armor strip on her four. And uh, Corifel build. Yep. And let's mm, switch also to Madurai for the faster casting. All you have to do is briefly switch to Operator once like this every 20 seconds, and then it's done. And yeah, so you'll see. It's it's pretty crazy. You magnetize them, right? They're all magnetized. Shoot. And the Lanka has shot. And it's like going through them. For some reason, <laughs> it's a mosh pit. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. There was some really weird interaction there that was kind of stopping it from working properly. Let's do it again. Okay. That's more like what we want to see. So the bullet essentially chases them and hits them <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Look at that, isn't it hilarious? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's move on to our next weapon actually. The Korufel. And we'll just strip them of their armor. And heavy attack. Korufel is a really nice little heavy scythe. Oi, I'm busy. I'm working here, over here. Can you tell, guys? What the hell? And yeah, if you just use it on one target, standing on their own, then you know it's not super impressive. But if you group them up, it just shreds because of its infinite punch through. And that was with zero combo. So let's actually see what it does when you put some combo onto it, right? Okay, that's three, four combo. All dead. So one way to get easy combo, you might be saying like, but cat, how do I get freaking combo? Um, right, use these two mods together on your animals, basically, on your melee companions. Duplex bond, you will get up to four total pets, so three clones, and tandem bond grants you six combo on every single hit. So you're getting up to like 20 combo per second. Easy 12 times, you can also use it on Glaive Prime, but that's already a broken melee. Let's move on to our next frame. Super fun to break sniping. And this is a bit more exclusive, both because of the weapon, Sporothrix, it's a rare sniper. The augment was last Nightwave Seasons Augment and Kularvo. Kularvo is a pain to farm. I bought him first time round and farmed him for the Subsume. But yeah, if you have all of these and you want to have fun, then uh, let's go to town. Okay, spawn some enemies and make sure we get our shields up. Collective Curse. And that's like three shots. Everything got melted right there. So yeah, one of the more powerful ways to make sniping great. It's kind of dot based even. And we can put lethal levitation on ourselves. I like featuring this in a lot of videos. It gives you plus 50% damage per stack. You can stack it up super fast. And then you get even bigger hits. Weird to see white damage doing a lot of damage, but uh, yeah, it's, it's really sick. Okay. That was one shot, literally one shot. Let's make sure we don't die. So they're fully armored and Sporothrix doesn't care. It's just like, okay, well, GG anyway. Now they're fighting each other because they have radiation. Yep. And what are my other sniping tips and tricks? Make sniping great again. Snipe. So a lot of people already know this, but Vault with whichever sniper rifle you take, 
Volt's shields grant you extra critical damage. And if you cast multiple shields in the same spot, apparently you get a lot more critical damage. So let's actually test the myth, right? Apparently you can get up to 300% extra critical damage. So let's try a few headshots with and a few headshots without. This is just one critical, uh, this is just one shield, right? So we're getting a not that impressive headshots, to be honest. And let's cast a bunch more shields. Any improvement? I think that is an improvement, yeah. It's not massive, but uh, yeah. So it actually makes sniping a great, again, cast both Shock Trooper on yourself and Solar Eclipse and Speed. The thing is, these targets are just so incredibly heavily armored that even headshots, <laughs> even headshots are not doing that much to them. Luckily, they can't touch us behind these shields. Smart ones come in to flank us though. But yeah, let's actually see some operator action right here. While we relocate, crazy glaive doing some work. So that's one thing radiation is great for. You just distract the hell out of the enemies. with it. So Vault, in case you don't know why this would be any good, there's a fight called Eidolon and it has three phases, um, Terrorlist, Gantilist, and Hydralist. And basically Vault is kind of the meta damage dealer there. You don't have to take Rubico, but it's kind of considered one of the best weapons for it. Zenith, if you have it, you're probably not watching this video. But <laughs> Yeah, Volt can just chill and he gets some additional damage through his shields. And yeah, he's a nice frame in general. Eclipse used to be better, I just haven't subsumed it off yet. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. And look, <laughs> we caused a lot of chaos. It's fun to see how they're all attacking each other. Little gunblade action. melt his armor. Okay, and I think I have a final snipe that I want to show you, but I've kind of forgotten what it is. Lol. Let me check it out. <laughs> okay, so I think, yes, I think I'm remembering it. So what we do is we actually get on our blessing trinity, and this snipe requires a bit of work, but you have to heal yourself or your squad with Champion's Blessing. Not so hard to do when you have Combat Discipline taking away your health. And Arcane Avenger is also proccing. And you can use any sniper for this. So you just type in Snipe in here and you see which of these do you like the look of the most. Apparently Ogris is even a sniper rifle. I have yet to earn the Kuva Ogris, but I should get to it. We're going to go for the Como Rex. And we're gonna try grouping the enemies up and seeing what what that does. So yeah. Double fire blast. And you get a lot of combo really fast with the Comorex. Oh look, we deleted the group. Nice. So yeah, do a combo like that. Or use Terrify, especially if you're using Pazarin. GG. So one little note on the Como Rex before I go, you do want to change its color to um, like black or something, its energy color, so that you don't get those annoying and massive white um, displays filling your entire screen and kind of blinding you. So, I mean, it's still kind of busy and that's black, so yeah. And also it's, um, yeah, it's so much better than I thought it would be. I featured it last because I thought it would be kind of weak, but look at this thing go. It's just like, that wasn't a headshot, that last one, because you can't headshot those targets from behind. Really, really good little sniper, quite impressed. So it's either single target, it doubles, right? Either use it as a single target weapon or kaboom, AOE grinder. 
m another mosh pit. <laughs> and they're all dead. The power of some primary frostbite, some galvanized scope, some arcane avenger, really nice little buffs. With uh, Champion's Blessing, as I said, you can get into red crit territory. GG. Not running sharp, Shuja. The Riven really isn't that amazing. You could replace it through, like, um, just Stormbringer or something. It's It looks like more damage than it is, let's put it that way. And you'll still get similar results. And yeah, Hammer Shot over Sharpshooter for some extra crit damage multi. If you don't have energy issues, then that's definitely something you can go. And here's the Equinox build. I did put a plus casting speed on, and you can also go like Madrai if you want. Bazarin is super nice for protecting yourself. So here in like night form, one thing you can do is also put on for easy sleeping. If you want to sleep the mobs, put on energy transfer, and that way you can sleep them in night form and then nuke them in day form without losing the mend and maim when you when you transfer over through metamorphosis. Um, Terrify is definitely best over three and yeah just get some decent range so your maim hits everything has a 30 meter radius pretty good you could go nuts with it if you wanted to but this is more than enough. Um, with a few kills you do fully strip but also corrosive projection if you're running that you actually only need like 80 82 percent and then yeah this will work um yeah that's that's pretty much the build i think i'm gonna actually swap out instead of creeping terrify just like i said energy transfer and then show you this hope trick. you enjoyed these sniping methods make sniping great again in 2024 um, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything would really help me and the video and creation of more such videos out.